try and get myself together. Power, season four, episode nine. That ain't me. Let me try and get into this. Man, the end of the episode is a heartbreaker. I'm, I'm going to try and break it down. I'm going to go by characters. All right, so Tommy, he's going through a lot of shit in, in his uh in his storyline. He's finding out about his daddy and, and shit. He finding out about all the stuff that his mama shielded him from or kept him away from his father. So that stales his relationship with his mother. They always had a fucked up relationship, but he he's starting to try to lean towards his daddy's side. He wants to try to get towards that my family shit because he having all kind of drama right now. He having money problems. He trying to get money from Tasha and shit. That's not working. She trying to get get back on the right track. Ghost trying to do his own thing. He not trying to be around that. A lot of people in this organization is kind of betraying him. Dre, you know Dre been on some shady shit. So Dre is trying to betray him. He's trying to do his own thing pretty much. So he's sabotaging a lot of Tommy shit. So Tommy is going through it. He tries to smooth talk to Lakeisha. Tries to get that back going. She turns him down. Like everything is not working for him. Towards the end of the episode. He does go meet up with his father. And it seems like he's going to try to. Get into that mob shit. Because everything else is, is looking like it's, it's going down. Looking like. look like Tommy was about to be on, on the back burner man. They was about to. End up killing him or something. Because he wasn't coming up with what he needs to come up with. But. Things might turn around when he meet it. When he start fucking with his mafia family. Uh, Tyreek. Tyreek. He's go, going through his shit. He's trying to get to the other school. Because he's he seen that murder. Shit is hot. Hot <laughs> as a tea kettle. The dudes is after him. But they let him slide. But they got another nigga. He ain't let the shit slide. So he killed the mother cats. So now he after Tyreek. So the episode Tyreek is kind of trying to make make his moves. And say his goodbyes and shit before he he go to the list school. So he trying to do all that. Get, get his stuff popping. Everybody is trying to make their moves man. Everybody is trying to make their next plan. That is the, the theme of the episode I, I guess. As far as another one, Angela Valdez, she's trying to plot her next thing. So she doesn't know whether she wants to stay in the Department of Justice or she wants to go and chase the money. She don't know if she wants to go to defense, go John Proctor and shit. So she's making her moves. At first it looks like it's not going to happen for her. It seems like, like uh. The new female that, that was in the head, ahead of the thing wasn't about to promote her. Like the Chinese dude, he was about to get promoted. He had her spot. But things turned towards the end of the episode. And she wound up getting her spot. So that's a long story made short. She winds up becoming the head of the uh of the DA, whatever, whatever she she working for. So that's that's an interesting thing. Ghost. The, the main character, well, let me, let me, I, I don't want to go to ghost shit. Let me, let me go through more characters. Uh, Tasha, she's on her bullshit. Like, Tasha's trying to have her escape plan. So, she's ready for the next step in her life. So, she wants to, she wants Ghost to get his shit going. She wants him to get as much money as possible for her to be able to divorce him. And take half of what he got. Like they had a prenup and shit. But. The man she fucking with is a lawyer. I don't know if he's necessarily a divorce lawyer. If he has that resume or whatever. But law is law I guess. So. Tasha. I was like. Man Tasha a stupid motherfucker man. She fucking with this old square ass nigga. But she might be smarter. Well not say. I ain't gonna say might be. She is smarter than, than you think. Because. Who else to fuck with? 
but a lawyer whenever she she needs that because she wants to try and get away from ghosts she wants to try she's not in love with him no more so she wants to try to get back at him and she wants to take what she's old and she might feel like i can't trust ghosts because he done already left me high and dry already so i don't i ain't about to be left high and dry in be broken shit because whenever he went to jail she was on hard time so i guess she don't want to go through that again so she's trying to take what she can so she's going through her shit the the lawyer he look like he on some funny shit man like when he sees her she that she has that gun and stuff and like he look like he just kind of like scheming i don't know he just he don't look very trustworthy Proctor, they not going into more of his thing. You know he stashed that, that laptop and shit. I would have liked to see more about that, but they didn't even really show him too much in the episode. Uh, it's not, not much else as far as other characters. So I guess I, I go into Ghost. So Ghost, he's trying to get his project up and going. Stern is pre basically using using him just to get the loan but he trying to take all the money but ghost being two steps ahead all the time he figures this shit out and he gets Lorenz Tate to help him out so he winds up being bigger than Stern wanted in the business deal because basically it was fraud he was just using them for the for the uh the black loan or whatever the ethnic loan or whatever but Ghost finds finds a, a loophole and shit like that. He finds Lorenz Tate to help him out, get his shit settled. So he winds up being bigger. I already said that. I said the same thing twice. But lo and behold, fucked up thing about it. Towards the end of the episode, you find out everybody is scheming, man. In this universe, this TV show. Everybody is out to get they get their theirs, and Lorenz Tate of all people <laughs> kind of backstabs Ghost and he like, yeah, I helped you so well, uh, my brother. You you gonna be like <laughs> you gonna have to grease our, our palms. You in debt to us now, so that's crazy. And. It, they had a lot going on, but then it seemed like I ran through this episode real quick. I, I don't know if I'm missing a lot of things. I'm trying to see things that I might have missed. I'm pretty sure it's going to come to me whenever I'm finished. But the the big moment. We all seen it on the internet, man. Like, Raina has been killed. Man, they killed Ghost Daughter and shit. Man, nah. Man, nah. Man, that's... I, I was in denial. I'm like, no, no, man. This, and then I was like, looking at the episode. I'm like, man, maybe this shit might happen. Huh? Then I'm like, man, she ain't gonna die, man. Maybe she gonna get grazed or some shit, man. All that bullshit Tyreek been doing, man. Tyreek been on some fuck shit the whole season, and it end up everybody was like, man, Tyreek gotta go. Tyree gotta go. Dre gotta go. Dre gotta go. El, Angela had to go at, at certain points. Like we all we we all were in the mode of man. Some people gotta go. And the fucked up thing it wound up being Raina. Like she had her brother back the whole time, man. Like she knew he was doing some fuck shit, and she kept trying to be on him and stuff. And. This dude went to the school. He was dressed up as a policeman and shit. And so she recognized the dude. And she the, she got the story together. And she knows who's, who it is. So. His little girlfriend set him up. Not willingly. But she had pressure put on her. So she set him up. Was acting like she was going to go to the school dance. Give him some weed and shit like that. So he goes outside. Try to go meet up with his, with his little thotty. And it winds up being this dude. He go with his he go with his move. Ah, ah. And then that nigga, you know the nigga got the wheels. Cause he, he got out there fast the last time. He runs stiff as fuck though. But you saying bump run kind of stiff, so hey. <laughs> but anyway, this nigga got away. Man, he he hide behind a thing. 
And next thing you know, man, Raina, she confronts a dude and she like, he was gonna let it go. But she don't know nothing about their life, man. And she don't know everything that been going on. She don't know her brother been robbing people and been running with this crowd and doing all this shit, man. And she like, you gonna leave my brother alone? I know who you are and shit. And homeboy, when he, when he hit that, like the same reason why he wanted to kill Tyreek because Tyreek knew shit. Same thing that they wind up biting Raina in her ass, man. He like, bam. He just killed that little girl, dog. That's how the episode end. Like, where are things going to go now? Man, shit about to hit the fan, dog. You think they about to kill Ghost Daughter? And this shit just, just gonna slide. Yo, man, it's, it's time to, to roll up the sleeves, man. Hey, take the suits off and shit. Man, it's time to... One thing I missed in the episode, Dre trying to be super smart and shit. Like, he, he making his moves and shit. He tried to get Kanan killed. That shit didn't work. Kanan, Kanan, hey, a lot of times in the season, was like, man, fuck Kanan, man. I hate Kanan. 50 Cent, 50 Cent turned out to be a hey, that nigga a G. Yeah, G. They tried to sneak up on him and kill him. If he just sit with his move, hey, ah, 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 fuck y'all, come, come. He he kicking the ass like like he was on the defenders, man. Like like he was fucking Iron Fist or Daredevil or one of them. He, he fucked him up, killed them dudes. Shit, you think he was Luke Cage? <laughs> but he, he fucked him up. But so where man, where things are gonna go, man? Tommy is gonna gonna get with his mob shit. Tasha gonna be trying to divorce him. Angela is going to, man, Ghost is still in love with Angela. I don't know if their situation is going to get better. Something else that I missed. Whenever he was doing this shit, he all over the TV. They had that woman in the diner. And she recognized Ghost's voice. I think it was on the very first episode of Power. And he had his club truth. And in the bottom of the club or something, he was torturing somebody. I think somebody tried to rob him or do some shit like that. And they had his girlfriend. I could be mistaken, but I think he was on the very first episode. And he let her go. He wound up killing that dude. But he let the girl go. She was uh, blindfolded and shit. But she recognized his voice. I'm seeing how that's going to bite him in the ass. That's going to be some shit. But then, man, on top of the shit that's already going on, man, how is he going to deal with the death of his daughter? Dog, oh, that shit is crazy. In the my my last thoughts, well, not my last thoughts, but also on another note, stars, survivors remorse, two thumbs up, su superb show. I ain't gonna do no video on on this shit, but hey, it's on the same channel. So why survivors remorse? That is the shit. That's the shit. But like, comment, subscribe gonna be the greatest of the most hated. Fuck with your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Let me know what, what y'all think gonna be happening. A hey, season finale next week. Let's get it. Peace out.